Hi, I'm Karan Shanani with the Husky Herald. I'm here interviewing ACW candidate for VP Mariam Somro. Thank you for being with us today. You're welcome. All right, let's start right off here. Why do you believe you are best suited for this role? Well, I've been going to this school for three years now. I was involved. I didn't get involved the first year. Got involved the second year. It's so very passionate about the school. I really want to see this school grow. I love the changes that we've been making, and I want to continue to be a part of the positive changes that go on at the school. So I want to continue um, student government so I can be a part of those changes and really get to work with that. Okay, what character traits do you possess that will enable you to collaborate with other USA ASUW members? Well, my um, we took a strength test in the beginning of the year and one of my set strengths were communication, which I believe is key um, for the past year that I've been on student government as well as next year because Communication is, whether you're communicating with um, administration, staff, faculty, or your team members, that is the base of how you're going to get stuff done. If people don't know what you want, then you can't get anything done. So I believe that communication is one of my strongest traits, and I'm definitely going to bring that with me next year. Okay. So being an ASCW member takes time and organization. How do you believe that you will be able to balance your priorities between school, duties, ASCW, and your social life, now this being your senior year? Well, I mean, I've been doing this last year, so I've been balancing my time. Um, I've been pretty involved for the past two years, so every school obviously comes first to me, but student government means a lot to me, as, so I know when to do school work and when to do student government work. When we're in the office, when we have office hours, there's a limit. Okay, this is when I'm doing work, and this is when I'm doing school work, so I like to I make lists, um, make myself little charts that I'm going to do student government one time, school this time, so that I have prior prioritize everything I need to get done and everything gets done on time, efficiently, and okay. to the best of my ability. So you've done it this past year, so you don't feel like it's going to be a challenge? I feel like it will be a challenge. Um, the hours I would require as a VP is 10 hours more than I'm required as an executive representative, so there will be balancing acts going on. but. Um, there will be some stuff that I need to drop that this year I was doing an intercultural club which I will probably drop if I become a VP to commit my time to that and school instead of a bunch of different things so have my priorities straight. Okay, um, if you do get elected what are your top three priorities and how do you plan to accomplish them? Well the top three things that I'm looking at right now is food options which I know everybody wants more food options um, extended library hours and working on a sports field slash a student center. So right now, we so past year we had no food options. We had Subway and we had the Common Grounds with not a lot of options in there. Um, at the end of last year, we had some soups. This year, we started. We have the we have a bunch of different options in the Common Grounds. We have the mobile vendors that come three to four times a week. Um, the hot dog guy, the burger. And we also started off the year with restaurants on campus where we subsidize food um, that the students can buy for cheaper. So in just in one year, we have made a difference in the food options that are offered on campus, and I want to continue doing that. Um, I'm working with the auxiliary manager here, John Shaheen, who is in charge of food. So um, I know who to go to. I know what we are working on, what needs to be done to move forward, and I just want to put that into action as soon as I get elected. Okay. How would you inspire the UW community to get involved in your priorities as well as inspire the community to generate their own initiatives? Well, um, just getting, telling awareness to everybody, letting people know what we do, um, creating transparency between the student government, the students, and the administration. So um, we have all these little forums and groups that we start and try to get student feedback on it. And when students sit on those forums, they're more likely to get involved, they're more likely to go do something else. And um, passing what the student want to the administration. So going through with whatever we say we do. Because when students know that your voice, their voices are being heard, they want to get involved more and they have more concerns and more ideas that they want to get implemented. So just making sure that I listen to everybody, communicate well, go out, talk to them. Okay, so that being said, who is, do you think is primarily responsible for spearheading the change on campus? Is it the students, the faculty, the administration, or the student representatives? I think it is a combination of everything. 
because of course everything that has to be the big projects that have to be done it has to be approved by the administration but they don't get started without the student support and if a student wants something they tell the student um, council so that will be the ACWB members and then the ACWB members um, pass it on to the administration so I think it kind of depend you have it has to be everybody one person can't just spearhead anything it has they have to get support from everybody so it's the students definitely they have to tell student government um, what they want what they want to see what changes they want and then the student government implement them take it to the administration tell them what the students want and make sure that and follow up and make sure that those get turned into action. Okay, I think that was it. Thank you for your time. Is there anything you'd like to add before we close? Um, well, I would just like to add to vote for Miriam for VP. And I'm running with Amir Davis, who actually was on student government this year as well. So she's running for president. We both are very, very excited for this. We really, really want to do this. And we just want to encourage everybody to vote. Okay.